I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 10 28 awakenings and i am back again with another motherfucking video what's going on my scorpios today has been a crazy day um if you are getting dizzy you know, you like what's going on. I do feel like that might be like um, you changing into different dimensions. I know that sounds crazy, but I think that's what that is. I have been driving and when I'm driving, I forget where I am. Okay. I'm not driving off the road or nothing like that's that's something totally different. Okay. But I might just come back and be like, what the fuck? Like, how did I get on this road or do I know where I'm going? And it keeps happening. And I'm just like, what is going on with that? You know what I'm saying? What was I thinking about? Like, where? what was I thinking about? Like, it's such a deep trance, okay? All right, Scorpio. The cards that I want to use, they didn't come out. All right, so what's up, y'all? I hope you guys are doing good, looking good, and feeling good, and smelling good, and all that stuff, okay? Um... Scorpio, I'm gonna be real. Before I press play, I have seen a baby shower or a bachelorette party or, you know, just a group of people getting together, having a really good time. And I, I don't really know what that is. So maybe that's something that happened already. Okay. Or maybe that's something that you got to go to. It's a whole bunch of y'all. Okay. Addictions. Think about the emotions you are trying to cover up. Deal with these emotions, process, heal, and release them. All right, so Scorpio, somebody could be addicted to you. You could be addicted to somebody. Somebody could have put you on something and now you're addicted. We have addictions here, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have inconsistent. Think about if your thoughts and actions, routines are inconsistent. Does it serve you well on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So Scorpio, you're not the kind of person that doesn't like... You're not the kind of person... If somebody tells you something, that's what you want. If they don't do that, they don't. This is basically saying someone is addicted to you. Um, it could be for sexual reasons. I really don't know yet, but somebody is addicted to you. Sideways is it's a mutual addiction, but yours could be a different kind of addiction. This person could be sexually. You could be sexual. They could be. I don't know. It's it's not. It, it's sideways, so it is an equal addiction. So there is an addiction on on your part as well, Scorpio. But with inconsistency in reverse here, this person does want to be consistent or you're only used to being consistent. I guess that's right. Okay, so this person does want to be consistent because this person is addicted to you. I don't know if that's a good enough reason. I don't know. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Okay. I, con <clears throat> I connect with you at night in reverse. This person misses you the most in the daytime. Seeing you makes my day. This person doesn't feel like they're going to be able to see you anymore, Scorpio. Okay, so um, this person thinks about you a lot in the daytime. Okay, that's right. So this person thinks about you a lot in the daytime. Okay, cool. This person, this person, this person gonna call you. Whoever this is, they calling your ass. They calling you and they gonna wanna talk to you. They wanna talk straight up to you. You fill me up with happiness, yep. Cause you the, you the, the, you the happiness, okay? So this person is addicted to you. They want you. It just is what it is and they don't give a fuck. This person is going to get like, you know how when you really are addicted to something, you just want it. You don't care how you look. If you feel stupid, it's just like an itch that needs to be scratched. This is the kind of energy this motherfucker is coming towards you with Scorpio. So you need to be prepared. Well, I am done pretending. I don't know what's going on with that, but this person is going to be very consistent about something here. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, this was kind of deep. I don't know what kind of shit this is. All right, so I'm going to put these down. 
this could this person could talk to you in a very intense way you could be like damn nigga what you trying to tell me <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody could talk to you in a very intense way scorpio so you need to get ready for that i think it's the eclipse energy okay so it says i'm sorry i hurt you and i didn't treat you and hold up i'm sorry i hurt you i didn't realize what i had until it was gone but it was in reverse okay so this person always knew you was out of their lead they always knew that you was better than them they always thought these things you know what i'm saying but they may have treated you like you was lame or you was a sucker or you you know you just was whatever and they thought they should have treated you like this because this is how you would keep somebody like you now you really can't get mad at this person because the people that they've talked to prior to you scorpio this is what they've done they just treat these people like whatever you know and they just take it and they forgive them and they go back to them and you know they just praise them like nothing ever happened because sometimes yeah this is correct sometimes women will just want attention affection somebody just to say hey and stuff you know but scorpio you're not really like that you know tons of people say hey to you tons of people give you attention tons of people go out their way to make sure that your day is the best day that you can fucking have and it's not really because you fine i mean it adds to it because we got to be honest with ourselves you know we are very attractive it's more so the fact that we have a really good vibe you know what i'm saying you can't kill a vibe no matter what you know you come back as a butterfly like oh that pretty butterfly don't kill it come over here every day just be in line of this business you know no matter how many times you reincarnate no one is going out their way to just attack you smash you and the people that do they do receive the wrath and it's unexpected but i think they know I think they know it's because they crossed you, Scorpio. <laughs> like, I, I really do. Especially the ones that was calling you, like, a witch and, ah, a terrorist. You know, crazy ones. Um, Yeah, Scorpio. So, somebody is addicted to you and you equally are addicted to this person. And somebody feels like you give them so much happiness. Like, you bring them a lot of fucking joy. Like, well, if joy could be a definition, it would be you, Scorpio. That's a lot of pressure. I ain't gonna flex on you. That's a lot of pressure, but maybe you do it easily where it doesn't seem like you're doing much. You know, maybe this person ain't never been kept treated nicely. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, sometimes when you ain't never been treated in a nice way, when someone nice treats you well, you treat them badly because you don't know what this is. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you go to a really nice hotel, you know, and you fuck up the sheets, you fuck. It's like where who raised you? You know what I'm saying? But you ain't never been nowhere nice. So you don't know how to act okay you know what i'm saying and this is the same thing that has happened to this person you know you know you're supposed to behave yourself but you also feel very out of place so scorpio you could have made this person feel like that but it doesn't matter to this person because like i said this person has an itch that needs to be scratched and not only that this itch is like purity it's happy it's clarity you know happiness is very light it's not heavy it's easy for you to do it's like when you're 16 you like what you want to do drive your car like it's happy i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna go see my friend i'm gonna pick them up we finna hit the streets we finna do our thing you know what i'm saying it's the light energy and everybody can remember getting your driver's license taking your parents cars because it was a light energy it wasn't nothing extra about it except i'm gone got gas money i'm gone okay <laughs> those were the days i still feel like that on saturday morning so all right so scorpios we also have i know that we have a soul connection so somebody does understand that like y'all souls know each other they just do like they just feel like you know what i want you know how i want it and how could you not know that unless our souls knew each other okay so somebody does feel like you know them in some kind of way or y'all mutually feel like this and mutually think the same way <clears throat> i ran because i wasn't ready for you so somebody dip off off you because they just really wasn't ready to be like all of that you know what i'm saying Sometimes feel like people feel like you're very intense, Scorpio. It's like, oh, I got to be all or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because you bring this energy of it's either all or nothing or you got to get the fuck out of my face. You know what I'm saying? Some people be like, damn, I ain't really just ready to go all in. But then when you turn into a billionaire, it just seems like a dumb decision. You know what I mean? You know, but people have to get over these things because at the same time, you're here to teach people a lesson. You're here to help people evolve. You're here to make people get that clarity that they need okay and sometimes it is with the wrath of you leaving the wrath of you being successful the the wrath of you becoming the best version of yourself in front of everybody okay because everybody has to come from a caterpillar and turn to a beautiful butterfly especially if you're a scorpio we go through seven stages of just trials and tribulations i mean there's a lot of lessons there but it's a lot of break and heartache you know and we always 
are, you know, going through these transformations over and over. And everyone that we meet, even if it's just like at the grocery store, we're transforming um, every single person that we inter interact with. If you have a Scorpio in your life or vice versa, you're going to always remember that. other. I know every Scorpio that's in my life, every single one. OK, I know every transition that I've had with them and everything. So, you know, this is who we are. All right. <clears throat> but somebody does feel like they don't give a fuck who you are. They love you. They're addicted to you. And um, they want to be with you. Damn. Yeah. It's going to surprise you that this person is going to tell you that they love you and they want to be with you long term. And they want to get married to you. And they would love to have a baby with you or just stick anything inside of you. I don't know what this is, but this is just heavy. Somebody just really do want to be inside. <laughs> like, I don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it says I love you in reverse. This person never told you that you they loved you, but you could have told them that you love them. Okay, because it's here in reverse. It could be a shock when this person does say it to you. Um, but you and this person keep going round and round in circles, okay? And it's a lot of it's a lot of triggers, okay? So this person keep pushing your buttons, you keep pushing this person button. This person pushing your buttons, this person pushing your button. It's a lot of triggers, triggers and lessons in this whole situation that you're dealing with and it says turn your it says turning your back turning your back in reverse okay so somebody does want a second chance somebody doesn't want you to turn their back on them even though they keep going around and around in a circle and it's the same thing this person does love you and i guess it's a secret or they didn't tell you also somebody from this person's past wants them to pay attention to them they wanted marriage they wanted all of these things with this person and this person doesn't want this they keep going around and around in a circle with them okay so somebody kept yeah damn that's fucked up let me see what the fuck this thing karmic lesson this got something to do with somebody going to the gym or always having on exercising clothes yeah so there's there's a guy here you know it's a dude okay he's dealing with a girl it's a it's a body thing like i don't know he liked this girl body a lot but round and round they go around but there's no real commitment you know what i'm saying but somebody feels like it's too late like they don't want to fuck with somebody no more and with turning your back in reverse, it's like the dude walked away, which really hurt this girl. So a dude walked away from a girl and it really hurt. Like this girl feels like she's not marriage material. She doesn't understand why she keeps meeting these different guys and they keep going around and around in a circle with her. Okay. Addicted to different things, her body and things like that. Wow. We got love child. So somebody better be careful because you could have sex with somebody like the karmic and y'all can make a love child. You could not even want to have this baby with this girl, okay? But you could just be tired, down and out, just feeling rejected. So you just go smash and dash, but don't do it, bro, because you're going to make a love child and you don't even want to have this baby. Whether you be a female or not, like you might get pregnant you like, I don't even want to be pregnant by this dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, but... You're going to have a karmic tie. Now, I do want to talk about babies. Babies are karmic. Now, I know you guys say like, dang, actually, karmic is supposed to be a negative thing. It's the thing, the reason is babies are karmic. You know, you have a baby and it is your responsibility to teach this baby real principles. Okay. I'm not talking about church. I'm talking about right and wrong, doing the right thing, no matter what. Okay, that's super fucking important, telling the truth no matter what. Because once you steer your kids to lie and say that Santa Claus is real and he's falling down the chimney, all these fucking lies, you can't get mad at them when they start fucking lying to your dumb ass. I don't, I've never told my kid that there was no Santa Claus. You know, she went to school and she learned that shit. And, they t and she told them, she was like, nah, my mama said, nah, she worked, she make this money. That's how we get these gifts, you know. She, she was like, no, you know, she always told him like, no, and then with the Easter Bunny, I said, you know, I don't really feel comfortable with you sitting on the Easter Bunny, you know, and, you know, with the eggs and all the stuff. But I said, we're going to participate. We're going to do it. But we're going to do it at my house. She was like, okay with that. But you have to understand that it's your job to stop lying to your kids. It's your job to stop doing it. The school is not doing it because my, my kid, no, no, nah, mm -mm, ain't no Santa Claus. And it's it's hard because other parents will come and look at me like, Ashley, you know your daughter's... I said, yeah, we're Jamaican. My mama didn't tell me that. I'm not going to start lying to her. And they all look at me with their Christian selves. And they look back at me like, I can't believe she's she's doing that to her kid. Not lying to her kid? Like, <laughs> you know, you can't believe that I'm not lying to my kid. And I'm keeping it 100 where I don't want her to think that I'm a liar. And I don't want her to think that I'm going to lie to her. So, I say this to say, karma... 
comes when you keep lying to your kids and expecting them to tell you the truth. And I'm not trying to judge nobody for parenting, but I'm just telling you with those kind of things, my mama just didn't lie. She just told us straight up what the fuck was going on. And I feel like I respect that. Um, so be careful with having sex with women you really don't want to have no future with, you know, all because you upset or you drink some henny or something like that because it's not worth it. Choke your chicken out and go to sleep. All right. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. Hold on. One of these cars is facing forward. Oh, okay. So we are dealing with somebody who is a boss. All right. Somebody who's very secure and confident in their position and they know what they're doing. They are very career focused and they look damn good doing it. A lot of people may look up to this person uh, fond after this person, just period. Okay. Um, but somebody's addicted to you and they want a family with you and they want to send you loving messages. Okay. And they want to show you their true color. So somebody who is a boss, you know, they, they're self-made, um, outright. Somebody does want a family with you and they want to build with you and they want to tell you how much they care about you and they love you. and They want to show you their true colors. We have reckless love and sex. Damn, Scorpio. You got to be careful. That says reckless. Okay, that's no hat on. You need to be careful, Scorpio, especially if you're not trying to get pregnant. But if you are, congratulations, guys. You will be doing that, okay? Whoever this is that, you know, adores you, y'all will be having some kind of love child. And y'all will be very entwined with each other. And this person wants to show you how they truly feel, okay? They've been holding all the emotions back, but this could be something else. Be careful, guys. Wear a hat. Love you guys. Bye. Scorpios is really private, but will sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined and don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fiction. They don't really like people switching up, and they can be kinda controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit If you date in the Scorpio and they like you They will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen all you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint man you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you